Hello old friends, hello old friends. Gee, it's good to see you once again. Hello old friend. That's Eric Clapton, everybody. It's going to make sense for what I'm doing tonight. This is Kyle Supley's uh, At Homo, episode six. Um, it's getting scarier. We're the epicenter now in New York City. Hey. Um, but so yesterday I covered the part of my Nick Nick disco shirt collection. Tonight we're going to cover the the last of the ones, not the last, but the rest of the ones I have here in New York. My hair's doing something. Not sure what. Uh, I hope you're all doing well out there. I wanted to clear this up. Not that anyone really asked, but you're probably like, what is that, Kyle, in your bathroom? That is amazing. That's from Dead Horse Bay. If you've ever heard of it or been to Dead Horse Bay in New York, it was a junkyard in the 1930s, 40s, 50s. It was covered up, ended up exploding outward like in the 80s into the ocean and it keeps washing up ashore it's um out by the rockaways it's amazing um you can sit and listen to all the glass come in it's really beautiful um if you need some peace and some <laughs> scary moments of end times no i'm kidding but this uh is really cool this is a camera that i found on the beach in the garbage in the junk from probably the 50s and next to it is a little roll of actual film that I found as well and somehow that little piece of film probably from the 40s never broke off spooky anyway let's get down to business we got a lot of shirts to go through tonight I am wearing a rare solid Nick Nick disco shirt with embroidery on the collar so again for anyone who missed yesterday's episode Nick Nick was a disco shirt manufacturer in the late 60s through the 70s um high-end disco shirts they only made so many of each print they were designed in Italy uh for men and women mostly men but there are some women ones out there I'm wearing my uh unisphere necklace from my friend Jake Sweet what's up Jake that he gave me for my birthday thank you so much Sterling for that Ooh. that Anyway, oh, while we're looking close here, all the Nick Nick shirts also had Nick Nick in the buttons, like impressed into the plastic, and most of the prints said Nick Nick as well, but we'll we'll cover that. Hey, Greg. All right, we're going to start. This is one of the first Nick Nick shirts I ever discovered and found at the Salvation Army in upstate New York uh, when they used to do dollar days. I got a lot of my shirts uh, then. There's about, like I said, 600 disco shirts in the collection. The Nick Nicks comprise about, I'd say, 40 or 50 of them. So we're just covering those for now. We'll cover the rest later. Maybe not all of them, but the good ones. So this, if you see this, this will start any collection when you see this. Look at this. Look at this Nick Nick shirt. I didn't know what to make of this, but I immediately saw my future. And I was like, that, I need to have that. We have a rooster claw here with a ring that says Nick Nick uh, cut into the ring right there. We've got a printed zebra placard center there. You ready for the back? It's one dollar. One dollar, mind you. To me. Hi, Dad. Look at that disco cock. I mean, disco rooster. Hello. I mean, outrageous. Look at this stuff. All right. That's one of the first ones I got. Now we're moving on. What is this one? Oh, right. So this is just a cool... You think it's a simple solid, right? Simple gray. Got this cool Aztec key right here. Also says Nick Nick right there. For the simpler minded. Okay. Now, uh, so yesterday I was told that some of the ones I had shown uh, in yesterday's event were um, were knockoffs. They're not knockoffs, but homages to fine artists. So if anyone knows who this one is, I'm sure it is somebody famous. I don't know. Help me out. But I like the front of it here. Let's see. Can you see that? You've got this just woman's legs in an old lamp and a Victorian sort of look coming from the button area there. And flip it over. Whose legs is it? <gasps> this woman just hanging out, being sad. She is in isolation. Seem familiar? Perfect disco shirt for the times. All right. Now, this is kind of funny. I got a number of this one. So this one, I'm going to do this. This will be easier. We've got this cool, hold on. It's hard, hard to do this. I'm holding two iPhones because I'm both on Instagram and Facebook. Getting more interactions on Facebook, though, just for the record. Uh, look at this beautiful Art Deco. We've got this Art Deco man here and these pinstripes that go all the way down. It says Nick Nick there in the bottom. We've got these guys in their horse and buggy. This gentleman would like to get in. Let's turn this around. Ooh, just a simple Art Deco back there. Did he get in? Did he not? We'll never know, folks. All right. Nick Nick Disco shirts. Here we go. Here's an all-over print. The ones you've seen so far, yes, were all engineered prints. So that means they were different on the front and the back. Uh, they were engineered that way. Uh, this next one is a little different. This is an all-over print. 
another very Art Deco one here. We've got a woman. Uh, if you look close, she's just picked up a vodka or some sort of beverage for the long term. Smart woman. Uh, who else? We got these two dapper gentlemen in their top hats. Hopefully you can, can you see that? Yes, there we go. And I think that's most of our characters in that beautiful Art Deco display. Again, Art Deco was big in the early 70s. It had come back full circle. Here's another all over print for the um, horse racing lover and all of us. I am from upstate New York near Saratoga. So uh, this one's apropos. I think it says Nick Nick. Yep, there it is right there. It keeps repeating, but there it is. There's another one of the tag. I know it's backwards. Look in a mirror. Use your imagination. Disco! These all smell really good somehow. There's a few I got back in the day that must have been worn by the number one disco dancer and didn't really wash it when we put it away, but these have held up really well, and uh, they're all just about 100% nylon. Not all disco shirts are, but the, again, these were some fancy ones. Now, here we have another of the linear series. Dad, you'll like this one. There, look at that. Model... A? T? One of the models. Um, and there's a woman, and there's a little guy with his uh, driving mask on. They're ready to go. Look at that cool print. Isn't that cool? And then, on the back, I love this. Surreal. How cool is that? The woman just, like, extends down with the pinstripes as she watches her friends get in the buggy. And I don't know what building that is. It's like a circular... I feel like it's in D.C. I don't know how well you can see it, but... So there it is in the brown pattern. Now, having gone for textile design, they I was told and knew that they would make these designs in about three or four different colorways for different people. Um, all right, so now we've got this in the blue colorway for the brown car. Mm, look at that. Beautiful. Now, this is a size small. And then, for when I find a partner who's into the same stuff, too, please send submissions. Here we have it in a medium. Just can wear it together. Hello. Talk about a disco adventure. Wait a minute. Here we go. Boom. Boom. See it? All right. Moving along. We've got no disco fevers tonight. Right, everybody? Staying cool. The liquor stores are staying open. I asked the cops, thankfully, because that is unnecessary necessary thing this is a cool another art deco one here i'm gonna pull this one so you can really see it it's a beautiful art deco diving space let me see if i can hold this out look at that and see the sleeves are even different here you see some of the chairs out by the diving area and we turn this around and there's the big diving board so it's kind of cool they like dove through the shirt off the front there they go at one point this belonged to Ray. I like to envision him at like an old age home because they used to put like marker names on the shirts so no one would get lost in the in the laundry. And I hope Disco Ray just kept kept on going. You guys are going to love this one. This is one of my faves. This is a woman's one, but they did make it in men's too. But I call this the Liza. Look at that. Rainbow with Liza on it. Fading all the way across. All the way down. Whoop. Almost dropped it. Hold on. But here she is, so Liza's singing, and then whew, she's gone. But kept her, her port, or not her, um, what do they call that? Her profile was kept by the rainbow. How cool is that? This is a nice one. This is Thomas Rinaldi, who wrote the New York Neon book. Great book. Uh, look at these neon signs. We've got art. Denver, just a sign for the city, I guess. Down here we have the Nickelodeon, which is kind of cool because it also looks like the Odeon here in New York. Harry's and bar right over here. I like this one a lot. This one has kind of a rare orange and black label to it or on it that uh, I think means it's one of the earliest ones. That's what I'm kind of figured out. This is cool. This is ground control to Major Tom. So we have the Earth. We've got the satellite that what says, it says USSR in there. We'll ignore that. But here he is, Major Tom. I don't know, he's, he's driving his little silver ball. It says Nick Nick right there, signed. Is it Buzz? We'll never know. Maybe we'll know. The Emmy knows any designers who did these things or any information. I'm gathering as much info as possible. I do have some original advertisements, which is fun. This one's great. This is very apropos of our time. 
see if I can show this well. Here we have, look at that, the paparazzi. And his flash is going off on his camera. And then all down the side and back, we have signatures by the famous celebrities that he's been shooting. Here's the rolls of film rolling down the back. And with a keen eye, you can see Charlie Chaplin there, uh, some other famous people. But the names, which I can read you here, got Marilyn Monroe, Pablo Picasso, Miro, Hemingway. Uh, somebody else? I think that's it, Charlie Chaplin. Anyway, that's a cool one. Here we have another night theme. But this one's kind of special because we've got night stars. Okay, sure. A night disco shirt. Whatevs. But wait a minute. <gasps> oh, this guy was just reading his love novel in bed. So it's nighttime. He's reading his love novel. And as he falls asleep, he's going to dream on the sleeve of his romance to his beautiful woman from the book. This is a stretchy knit um, polyester just, uh, knick knick, which is kind of rare. They're usually nylon. This one's stretchy. It might be buzz. This one's great because I'm a collector of not only disco shirts, but uh, many other items, uh, radios, fans, toasters, lamps. But here we have the electrical outlet Nick Nick shirt with the cord that runs down around the sleeve. And then on the back, keeping cool, baby. Cool while you're dancing, dancing. Is this stuff fun or what? He's got a little wet because I tried to iron them and make them flat for you. I'm going to try to document them all and take photos in all my downtime that I have now. So they've been cooped up for a while. Apologies for the wetness. This is one of the other first ones I ever found, too. I know no wire hangers, but I have so many to fit in the closet. Plastic hangers, A, get snagged on the polyester, and they take up too much room. So don't tell Joan Crawford. So this one was one of the first ones I found, too. And I was like, oh, okay, plaid, neat, flip it around. Oh my God, a huge disembodied hand unzipping the shirt, but the back of the shirt, to show a wartime repeated dance print of people on a scooter and foxtrotting. Sure. Again, a lot of drugs back then, a lot of drugs. Here's another beautiful. Yesterday I showed kind of a swim hall themed one, but it was outdoors. This is the indoor, art, very art deco swim hall. Look at that. Look at that guy. They're beautiful. They're swimming. And on the back, look at this. This is the other room. While the other people are swimming, the other people are having a beautiful cocktail dinner. Look at that amazing wall. I feel like this is based off of some place. I bet Robert Bryan can tell me. He's my go-to disco or uh, Nick, uh, Nick, Nick, my go-to Art Deco informant. Here's a really nice, simple one. A little ship on the ocean. Not a ship. You know what I mean? Sailboat. And then look on the back. Ah. Oh. Leaving a trail of flowers. Red sails in the sunset. Out on the sea. All right. Here's a cool one. Speaking of, well, travel. That's a travel theme. This one is great. It's all postcards from the edge. No, postcards against a floral background. We've got a little group there. Got San Francisco. Cool vintage car. They're traveling. Oh, and where are they going to go? This is their next vacation. Look at that. Beautiful Art Deco. I guess that's... I don't know where that's supposed to be. Venice? I don't know. Also says Nick Nick, of course. Always says it. Here's one for our sports fans out there. I think this is so funny. For the baseball fan. How cool is that? So small stripes here on the side. Gets bigger to show the action. You can almost hear the crack of the bat. We've got one little ball. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, one little ball here on the sleeve as it flies out to win the game. Here's the bat. It says Nick Nick right there. And then this one. Only thing on the back. These cool lines. Wow. These things are so cool. I mean, they get snagged on just about everything. I don't know how these survived. They feel awesome, but you will sweat to death in them. And if the breeze comes, you get cold, you'll be freezing to death. This is another for the for the manly set. This one's great. This is the, the metallurgy, uh, I guess, one, or the architect. He's got his papers spread out. You can't read it because it's backwards for you, but we've got gamma iron uh, mentioned. We've got molten alloy. 
always a thrilling theme for a dance shirt, don't you think? And on the back here, just more graphs of how when metal melts, I guess. Got 17 perlite and trans and transform letaburite. If anyone knows these terms, good for you. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're getting it. Having a problem. Everything's fun. This is my bathroom, folks. This is where I do my hand washing because I'm from the 1940s. But for things like this, you have to. So this is a great one. It's a phase diagram. Dan knows. You're into metals and stone. I knew you'd know. Someone would know. This one is amazing. This still has its sticker or its tag as well from, from Gimbal's. Unfortunately, it does not have the price tag. That would have been fun. But it's an extra large, too. Everyone gets to disco. Look at this. We've got the Andrew Sisters. They made this in a very red, white, and blue version. This is like the faded brown and blue from more of your sepia tone disco night. And at the back, this is just... Oh, my God. This is like literally straight out of a Busby Berkeley. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, what a world. I like her face. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Or like that. Yeah, I've never worn it. Left the tag on it. Great for the museum. Here's a rare acrylic version. So this is getting later in the 70s now. The collar's a little bit smaller than the other ones. We've got this little puma tiger. Um... But yeah, this is a better fabric. Doesn't get snagged as much because it is acrylic knit, more of a combed cotton look. Getting towards the end. This is where we get into the meta section. Okay, so this one is so awesome. I've seen this in a few different colors. It's a shirt, shirt, a shirt collection shirt. Look at all the shirts ready to be sold in different prints and designs. Nick, Nick. Same on the back for that one. It's an all over print. Voila. Now, for some of my favorite, I know we started with my favorite with the rooster. I have this in two different colorways because we mentioned the two different colors. This is so awesome. Here is the brick wall knick knick with graffiti. And do you remember the, sang I, the song I sang at the beginning? Hello, old friend. Because it's Eric Clapton. There's his rock poster, half being ripped down. Also says knick knick in the poster. We've got graffiti. This is Franny. Do you feel. Like I do is my guess. I think that's what that is. And then on the back, look at this. We have a pinball wizard playing pinball wearing a Nick Nick Disco shirt. Are you kidding me? It says Kiss there. I know it's backwards, but another band. Doug, he made it onto there. Devin, I guess, on the side. We got Blue Brick. And then I was so thrilled when I discovered this one. In the proper brick coloring. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Flip it around. Oh. So you too could be a wall. Anyway, happy Friday, everybody. I'm going to be here with my disco shirts. If you see any out there you don't want, if grandparents have any, send them to me. I'm going to make a collection. Well, I already have a collection. I'm going to do more with it at some point. All right. Enjoy the weekend, stay safe, hunker down, buy some liquor just in case, or don't. All right, have a good one, everybody. From Kyle Supley's home, oh, Chuck.